Good morning. I'm going to explain five star reviews uh, for our customers, uh, how to make sense of them and use them as an accurate guide, uh, not an inaccurate one. You've obviously got the one to five star rating. Five is obviously uh, more desirable than one. But I would say anything from three stars up to five stars would be companies I would find acceptable to use. How I would gauge this is a three star company would, you know, three stars would be an average company, four stars is a good company, five stars is excellent. I would be happy to use an average company as long as they charge an average price, but I'd have to expect an average job. Now, if I wanted to get a five star company, I should be expected to pay a five star price, but I should expect a five star job. Um, that's how I'd gauge the star aim, but then it gets a little bit more complicated. Would you rather have a company that has one or one to ten five star reviews, or would you rather have the one that has a hundred three star reviews? I would gauge it like this: the one that's got a hundred three star reviews is obviously more established, more experienced, but they deliver an average job. But you can see that through the reviews that they get, you can see it's it's a snapshot of what they're delivering, an average job. But if they're only charging an average price, then that's acceptable. Um, if you've got another company that's say got anywhere between four and five star reviews, but they've got hundreds of four and five star reviews. I would rather use that company over someone that has maybe 50 solid five-star reviews and no negative reviews. Now, it's almost impossible for a company not to get negative reviews. That's probably only possible for young companies. As soon as you're an established company, at some stage, you're going to have a customer that's upset. It's just inevitable. I run a really good company, and I, do, I absolutely bend in shapes that you wouldn't believe to try and keep people happy. But one thing I've learned, I can bend into a... I can bend into a circle, touch my toes, and all the way around, and I still won't please every single person. But we do deliver a consistent. I mean, we deliver between four point nine and five stars, which is fantastic. It's, you know, but I would rather trust um, a company with a lot of reviews but slightly less on the star rating than a company that has not a lot of reviews but a high star rating because, um, you know, the more reviews you have, obviously that's the more work you're delivering. And I would gauge the average of the reviews that they've done versus their star rating. And if, you, if you've done hundreds and hundreds of reviews and you still get a free or above rating, then that's, that's perfectly acceptable to me. Um, obviously, we, we are, well, I am a perfectionist, so I would like five out of five. Um, and, but that's just not realistically possible. There's no way I can deliver services to tens of thousands of people and every single one is just going to be happy. Sometimes uh, it might rain, it might be very windy, it might snow. So we have to cancel jobs and rebook them. And sometimes that is an inconvenience to the customer. They get upset by that. They'd like some 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 understand this, um. But some might leave a bad review saying, "Well, they've had to cancel the job," and some people aren't, aren't happy about things like that. There's nothing we can do about that. You just have to take it on the chin. So when you're looking at the reviews, look at the quantity, look at the quality, read the reviews, um. But there's nothing can beat recommendations. Old school is the new call. Cool. Nothing can beat recommendations. You know, if you've got friends and family that have used someone and then they're happy, that is a really good gauge. My window just vibrated. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, that should do. Thank you for watching. If you would like a tree surgeon in Essex, facebook.com forward slash th tree services. I've got a really funny window over there. And um, the other one is uh, thtreeservices.co.uk. Look forward to seeing you. Bye bye.